I guess I started doing that in the late 80s and always found that landscape photography was boring but if you included the clouds it was 100% better and uh, it just went from there just um, just seeing the different um, storms weather patterns that were coming through um, different things that, yeah it's always changing it's never the same and, um, and yeah you get out there and get amongst it most people most times when um, the storms are coming up the coast or in from the ocean wherever you'll find people running inside but no we're running outside <laughs> and you find more and more people now um, during storm warnings more and more people are getting out onto the headlands around the northern beaches and that and watching what's going on These days the police will keep you away from uh, death scenes. The old days, in fact, I had instances there um, where police would have me do the forensic photos because of um, tide coming in. They couldn't get the forensic people there in time, so I'd do all the photography of the body in place and you know things like that. Um, that happened a couple of times, but that wouldn't happen now police carry their own cameras and that and yeah it's you don't have to look if you don't want to we don't publish photos of dead bodies but um they're always there oh, 1006 in Croydon for a patient not alert post over 56 in attendance if you could head that way quote too please you're back in Hills feel that were and they're on their way to return a CSO to the car. police is now starting to fail them. A new encrypted digital radio system is being rolled out across the country, and the old radio scanners can't monitor them. That means nobody can listen in to hear. I can't receive code to. Encryption, uh, it's made it harder. You've got a um, system called Pete's where they've made for the media, um, where they police media will um, list jobs on a website. And, uh, and we have access to it via pin codes, but you do find a murder might come up as concern for welfare, and you won't know it's a murder for a few hours later. Um, things like that. They can hide things if they want to. Previously, you knew, knew everything that the police were doing. You knew, not that you'd report everything, but you knew, you know, when they were going for a lunch break or <laughs> everything. <laughs> I was just wondering um, if this call came from uh, the residents of Big Bing um, or the phone box of this address. That was inspired by, I think, the TV commercials that were out a while ago, and the kids wanting to know how it's done and that, so certain times in the afternoon the sun was coming through at the right angle with backgrounds and that sort of thing so we set up and shot uh, and had the, my daughter and son throwing darts at balloons and um, had the camera wound out as far as it would go to eight thousandths of a second uh, between uh, ASA 400 to 800 um, and between 2.8 and 5.6 depending on the day and um, yeah shooting at I think eight frames a second and uh, it still wasn't fast enough. <laughs>